Hi, this is Grant from the property team at Waitaki District Council. I'm through some recent work at the uh, Omaru Harbour Breakwater. We've been, um, the last three years, installed 14,500 tonne of rock um, across about a 400 metre section of the breakwater. We've got quite a significant bulk armouring, about seven metres wide at the top and about 15 metres at the toe at the seabed level. As you can see, we've got an unprotected section of about 60 metres remaining to be armoured, um, which is proposed to be done in the near future. There's some significant undermining on the structure at the base, as well as some significant cavities underneath a uh, 2001 breached section. It was repaired in 2002. Armoring we're looking at now was done in early 2019 and extends around to the Ramsey's extension, which had significant upgrades in 2007 with some 200 tetrapods and significant rock arm ring completed, which is hung in there very nicely. Um, hasn't moved much at all. In 2019, we bolstered the back of the tetrapods with more rock and the section we're looking at at the moment in late 2018 had 2,000 tonne of basalt rock installed right through to the head of the breakwater. Some of the projected or proposed work coming up shortly is to do some bulk concrete infilling and some large cavities on the head of the breakwater as well as providing some significant uh, rock armouring protection with um, 10 to 20 tonne rock. So coming over on the east face, we're going to have to pull some of the rock off to get the divers in to check any other cavities on that eastern face. Coming around to the north side that we're looking at now, we've got some significant cavities going through the centre of the head of the breakwater as well as to the right hand side lower section. There's a cavity of about 2 metres high by 2 metres wide by 4 metres deep into the structure. Um, which would have, could have the potential to blow the structure apart in large seas. Uh, it's also very um, it's cracked with a lot of stress fracturing throughout the concrete on the structure. Coming onto the west face we can see now there's a large cavity at seabed level that's about 2 metres high by 0.6 metres wide and again goes a good 4 metres into the structure. And just looking back over the, um, the inner harbour side um, we will be needing to form a, uh, a causeway and uh, creating a ramp through the back of the Ramsey's extension to get uh, heavy machinery, diggers, loaders, concrete trucks, pumps out the north end of the breakwater structure. The um, area we're just looking at now um, was actually a later addition done in the late 30s, which was a two metre overtopping. Um, which um, does very important to be protected as it has breached in the past with that 2001 breach, which is very expensive to repair. Um, just looking back along the beach now, they've been using a 35 tonne loader for most of the placement, as well as a digger coming in. In conclusion, at a public council meeting on 16 February 2021, Council have agreed to fund $400,000 of work to complete the final unprotected sections of the breakwater. This includes the supply and placement of 6,500 tonne of rock, as well as bulk concrete infill to substantial cavities in the breakwater head. Once this work is complete, the breakwater will be adequately protected, which is critical to ensure ongoing protection of our beautiful Omaru Harbour.